Hello, masterminds. I'm going to be interviewed today by Josh, my good friend Josh, about atheism, because I am an atheist. <laughs> this is for his uh, religion religions. class. Yeah. Yeah. He's learning about all kinds of religions, and, you know, I'm glad... Uh, I'm glad our public schools are taking time <laughs> to uh, teach you about everything. Equal time for everything when it comes to religion. Anyway, it's not my interview. Josh will be conducting the interview. Let me open my uh, docs page. <laughs> yes, this is knowledge happening right in front of you. All right, Noel, are you ready? Yes, yes. Okay, let's start off with the simple question. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, <laughs> how you grew up, how your family grew up, religion, or like what religion they were, and just well, a little. Hold on. Uh, okay. Hello there. Okay, what? <laughs> it's fine me. it's fine don't worry uh where do i want to start let's see i'm filipino and uh my parents are filipino my grandparents are as well and as you know filipinos are predominantly roman catholic i was raised catholic in the united states but i never I, I I just didn't believe it. I was always just going along with the uh, traditions and all the practices that I saw growing up, going to church and, you know, seeing my family and others pray, celebrate. So how did you feel about those, um, about those, like, what were, like, how did you feel about those religious you know, religious, um, what am I trying to say? How do you feel about those religious, like, practices? Uh, yeah, practices. So, like, when they were in church and praying as a little child, like, as, what, what <laughs> feelings? Like, as a child, yeah. g going inside a church was like, okay, people are gathering here for some, some, for something. There are a lot of people shaking hands, uh, w wishing well towards each other, and I, I didn't see anything wrong with it. I just didn't understand uh, certain things, like getting down on your knees and praying to some some sculpture on the wall. I just didn't understand things like that, or you know, like rubbing ash on your face. Um, basically things like that. I, I just didn't see the point in it because it was an act that had no explanation. It's, especially, so, uh, especially when, when like with, with prayers, like people pray to have some certain outcome happen for them, but I always saw it that it never happened for them. So, so like as a child, you didn't see past the sculpture or anything like that. Or... No. No, I, I just saw human actions. So how, okay. So what was it like for you to be a member of something that you didn't really see like was it awkward how did you feel like going to church did you go to church very often or uh as, know, like as i yeah. grew older uh i went to church less and less with the family because i just didn't see the point of it <laughs> uh like especially like uh i remember as a child i'd have to uh say a prayer before i went to sleep and i was just getting so so frustrated because what I was saying didn't make sense to me. 
like uh, re remind me of how the prayer goes. Uh, our, our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed yeah, be thy hallowed name. Be thy... Uh, I just never like. Like, I, <laughs> it's just so strange. Like, I don't know how to say it. It just so never, saying, it never fulfilled anything. Night, like, it never fulfilled anything for me. So I don't understand why I had to continue doing it. Like, and, and that's when I began to understand it was just a tradition that, you know, is being passed down. And I didn't, I'm not the type of person to, uh, follow tradition if there's no good reason for it for its own sake and the sake of you know passing that yeah. tradition <laughs> so rather it was just like you were a little kid and you were just going to this because your parents made you go and mm -hmm. you didn't really believe in all of it and so uh <laughs> like you just took everything because that's what you were supposed to do as a child or yeah, exactly. I, I was just following what everyone else is doing just to fit in, but it's not what I was thinking inside. Okay, um, tell me about your first... <laughs> like, tell me when, if you can remember the moment when you became an atheist, and what were your earliest memories of becoming this, and like, where did you discover, and how did you discover becoming... Or... Uh, coming to your views, I should say. Uh, I'd say in high school I found the courage to finally be outspoken about my myself, my views. Okay. I, I think that's a perfect time where you reach an age of reason to uh, be honest with yourself intellectually. So, because one thing I love being is a student. I love to learn and indulging myself in school. That's where things I, I learned about the world, different things out there besides the world view that Christianity was providing. And I just disagreed w with it. And so in, in high school, then that's when I would say I had the courage to, but ever since uh, I was young, any, any kind of uh, place I could get education from was something that religion never provided me with. So I, I never paid attention to religion. And my thoughts were molded by my human interaction with the world. So why would you go straight into atheism? Why not, you know, you told me that you learned about all of these things, about all the worlds and all the other, or if you learned about all the other religions, <laughs> but why not a view as agnostic first and then, you know, and then maybe atheism or well, that way around? Or... Being agnost everyone is agnostic. Agnosticism just means you don't, you're unable to know completely about something we're all agnostic like when i think of a like the pope he's supposed to be some some holy guy that can uh communicate with god right yeah, i guess uh well th th that's my understanding but without understanding that means he has powers to communicate with a supernatural being that somehow i don't have we're both human that doesn't make sense to me how does he have powers? I don't. So you think everyone is agnostic in a way because... Yeah, we, we all are because we, we, ha we don't have the capacity to know everything. And so one of the things that religion really frustrates me with is, is its assertion that it knows everything. Because religion is is humanity's first attempt to understand the world around us. Okay. 
and 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 with it being our first attempt to understand the world, it's also our worst attempt to understand the world. <laughs> That's why I look to things like science, <laughs> education, my own interaction with other human beings and the the earth I inhabit. I look like like these these concrete things to understand the world are much better provided me with a with knowledge than what religion could ever want to. Right, right. Okay. Um why are you asking him about his atheism? There are plenty of them. Yeah, um I'm asking him because I have to do this um comparative religion interview on one of my classes so i just decided i should stream it that way i have a record of it too of what he's saying and i can go back to it if i need to sorry there's someone in chat okay 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 <laughs> uh, um, sorry okay so when you discovered atheism, did you find any certain family members or friends who are important to your relationship with this view, or like, were there people that supported you, or See, you know, how did that come across? Uh, the the way I came out as atheist was very rebellious, so I would I would call myself an anti-theist in the way I came out with my atheism. So what I mean by anti-theist is I'm against the whole notion of there being a religion and a supernatural, any kind of supernatural being that communicates through given religion. So, because I, I, so, I see moral deficiencies and uh, <laughs> you know any kind of claims it makes they're they're just not true. <laughs> So, so like, what did, so you came out as a very anti-theist, what do you mean by that? Like, as very anti-theist? Like, 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 fuck religion, like, it, it shouldn't exist because it serves no purpose. <laughs> but, and but, how did, how, but, but oh. to, but, but to make the world a, a more hateful, destructive place. A stupid place, I must add, because... <laughs> it it has a it it, it makes people ignorant. It, and how okay? And how did that relation like? How did that relationship or how did that view with your views work with your family? Like, how did they react to it? You know, you said they were religious, or I don't know if they still are, but how? What did they think of it too? Um, I think uh. Particularly close family, like my grandma and my mom, were offended because they they expected everyone from from my generation to be to to follow family tradition, right? So yeah. I obviously wasn't, and I was very outspoken about it, especially during my teenage years. That, like I don't I don't want to pray I don't want to go to church I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to follow this bull crap. <laughs> but they, they they never forced it on you or they never mm. actually tried to get you to do something else that. I, I'm lucky enough to have a family that didn't force it down my throat. Like they gave me the the freedom to find out for myself. Okay. I. I sympathize for those that uh, have to go through much more than I ever had to. I didn't have to face getting thrown out. I didn't have to face uh, torture, abuse, death, even. Okay. Um. Okay. Um, what was it like for you as you grew older as an atheist? Like, what are your experiences, you know, outside of high school or... 
Outside something of like high that. school? Uh, yeah, like maybe after high school. What were your experiences? And tell me like the story about that. Like, Well, being an atheist, I think it's... Uh, it, it, I, th- I think it's uh, pretty natural, and it happens often that an atheist knows much more about a given religion than a follower, a follower of a given religion, because in understanding the religion, we we learn to despise it more. And I, in my first year of college, I took a. Uh, a comparative religion class like you but except it was much more uh there, there was a dialogue where we we actually had to talk with each other in the class and i don't know i uh i learned about all other kinds of religions in depth and i could still safely say that a lot of their teachings are ha- have no basis in reality have no ground grounds for uh, any factual based evidence based arguments about our world, our existence. So why do you hold this view when like there there is no real way to prove that let's say a god doesn't exist, but there is no way to prove that he does exist. Yeah, do but but okay, that? so the what what am I what am I about, what I'm about to say? You should you should keep in mind throughout our whole discussion. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. So if you're going to argue that a god exists, the burden of proof, the burden of, of proof relies with the person that's arguing there's a god. I'm not making that claim, so I don't have to provide proof for that. I don't have to provide proof for your position. Because that's just not how you argue or debate. Person. The burden of proof relies on the person uh, that... Lies, lies with the person that claims there to be a god. So, what I'm... In, in other words, I'm saying... Religious people... Religious people, uh... <laughs> They, they assume God is real because a book says so. So they're, they're, they're begging the question when they, when they uh, assert that. Like they say, God is real because there's such a immaculate design around us. Okay, so so how do you like um... like they 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 start with a claim and then they look for evidence in the real world to uh, support their claim. That that's not how arguing works or argue argue arguing your position works. You need to start with evidence to make a scientific based hypothesis which you test and then you know that's fact. <laughs> that's why that, that that's my thought process. That's how my brain works when I reason things. When when I when I think of a religious person, they they start with their they start with their end goal and they look for everything to uh, confirm their worldview, and that's why they're so ignorant because they cherry pick. Okay, so they're they're prone to cherry picking what confirms their their opinion. Okay, so, uh, how do you, I mean, I guess it's not practicing atheism, but just how do you relate to and, you know, be an atheist today in your view? Like, how, what's that definition? Like, how do you, today, like, how do you be this and how do you, like, take on life? I would say, I would give you, like, a hypothetical situation. Like, let's say you had the worst day ever. Uh-huh. You know, your car breaks down, your dog dies, and then 
someone in your family gets mugged and <laughs> your sister gets murdered and all this like all this shit happens. Mhm. How do you deal with that without having that crutch to go through life, you know, like like cuz I would argue that some people have you know, a belief in something out there uh-huh. that allows them to motivate them to just get through hard times and stuff. So how would an atheist go about doing that? We just accept that that's life and we live in a, we're, 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 we're born to die and we, we're just trying to make the best of our existence now. Like. We're, we're existing in a time that no one else is existing. And we have to make the best of our life here. Our purpose is to live, not to serve some... serve some, uh, God. So what do you say to people that argue that... they believe... Let, let's let's take it to this uh, Christian point of view. Okay. But they believe that God, in this case Jesus, died for everyone's sins, and for people who believe in that, have this view of that, like when he died on that cross, when he said it is finished. Mm-hmm. Like, what do you what do you explain to people? that when they believe that he actually meant that it's finished like he paid everything in full you have free will you can do whatever you want you can do whatever you believe in like what do you think of that whole thing okay. like they still i mean they're still you know not a religious person but they still believe in god they're still in a way spiritual but you could you can be you can believe in whatever you like as long as uh, it doesn't harm other people but for for people that want to be convinced by say christianity let me just pull up some of the things i got from youtube <laughs> some youtube comments where did they go i should have had this prepared but uh if you can't just give me a general like notion can you repeat the question again so, like, if someone is not necessarily religious or spiritual, but from a Christian point of view, if you believe that Jesus died on the cross and took our, our, all our sin and said it is finished, and he meant okay, it, okay, and, okay. yeah. So, that, that, that whole idea that Christianity is based on is called vicarious redemption, and that's a, that, that's a totally disgusting, immoral idea practice to believe in because you're basically arguing that humankind born into original sin correct we're going to throw our sins onto a person scapegoating basically and we're ev- for, we are forever in debt for the sins of those before us and we are told by god to be to to not be sinful to be to uh to be saved to, to be cured, when we can never be cured, because God created us this way. So it's like a, it's kind of like a paradox kind of thing? It's not a paradox, it's just a fucking stupid thing just to uh, get someone to believe in God. Like, <laughs> it's a disgusting belief. You're gonna throw your, you're gonna throw sins you haven't committed onto someone to die. Just so, j- j- sins, just so you can be saved. Even if you committed those sins, there's no... <laughs> Jeez! <there's> a... <laughs> That's a disgusting belief. No one has credit. I, I can't respect you if, if you're going to believe in something like that for to convince others like me to believe in your God. There, there's just no way. Well, and, and when, there's no way that deserves, deserves respect any amount of my my being or thought <laughs> okay well that's like, a disgusting belief don't throw your sins on other people you're gonna be like hitler and by the way so hitler, I, hitler was a catholic <laughs> so 
so, so, like, I don't understand. Uh, okay. Sorry, Vi I'm distracted, Megan. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Vicarious redemption. You throw your sins on on another being, and you have them sacrificed. See, another thing that doesn't make sense to me, God is Jesus. He sent himself... Okay, wait, wait. God impregnated a woman, Mother Mary, who gave birth to himself, Jesus, because God is Jesus, who kills him, who has himself killed so he can save his, his, uh, his creations on earth. Does that make sense? Yeah. That doesn't make sense to me. Wait, wait. I'm sorry, repeat the question. God is Jesus. Why would he kill himself just to save his creations that he created in sin? Well, what do you what what would you say to people who believe in two different things? What are those that two different God things? That God is God and that Jesus is the Son of God. There, there's a holy trinity. They're all the same. Because God is omnipotent, omniscient, all powerful. Who's not to say he's fucking himself right now? He practically is because he he can do everything right by 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 the religion's assertions what he is, what we understand him to be. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to replay that. Yeah. <laughs> during this stream. I, I, I mean, move on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, we can spend as much time as you like on this. So, like, you say all this stuff about, like, sin and, like, all. But how do you... How do you hate something that doesn't exist i don't hate it i hate the i hate the people that propagate a, an idea okay. i hate the the people that propagate the idea okay the the, the idea it's the idea is despicable for teaching people that they're born in sin etc cetera, etc cetera. and then you have these ignorant people that spread it around like a some infectious disease yeah, so, like, yeah, so ignorant people are, like, you know, making a bad name for this, what people believe in. Some people are more retarded than others. <laughs> you know? To say the least. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, that makes sense. Okay. I mean, um, like... <laughs> Like, going along those lines, like, uh, you, if I were to judge you with another, like, uh, like, like the, the guy that shot up a mosque in Canada, he, he's a white, conservative, religious Republican, Donald Trump supporter, and he, he's a terrorist, mm -hmm. but he believes in the same religion as you, and other, like, many other Christians. Mm-hmm. So what is who who isn't to say who's the better Christian? You're gonna die. Ah, I burned myself. <laughs> I didn't know it was that hot. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah. But who isn't to say or who is to say who's the better Christian? Are you the better Christian or is that terrorist the better Christian? If you look at it from my my humanist, secular, atheist standpoint, viewpoint, the 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 guy that shot up the mosque is obviously the one that's uh, not a good person, mentally and uh, well, yeah, who knows. Obviously, but the the reason why you're a better person is because of our society teaching teaching you to be a better person our secular values separating church and state our humanist values through science teaching us that we're all interconnected we need to take care of each other because that's in our long-term interest to survive so so what would you say to someone who just like because it's not necessarily bad to believe in something like that right it's just like what would you say to someone who's just using it as like something to explain something else and just to get through life? Like, what would you say? 
just to get through their own personal life, that's fine. Believe, yeah, be, so... believe what you like. I mean, if it, I I know people have or, or use religion to, you know, uplift themselves from harsh times, but don't use it in a public forum where you affect other people's well-being and future. Down people's throat. Yeah, because because that's that's not right. Mm-hmm. I agree. Okay, so does um, let me see if there's any other questions. What is it like for you as a child to be a member of this religion? What are are these memories of your religion? Are there certain family members and relationships you? Really- what was it like for you as you grew older to be a common member? The only thing that unifies atheists is that we don't, we, we see no evidence to believe in a god, and we act like there is no god. So... That's the only, that's the only unifying, unifying characteristic of all atheists in the world. We have no reason to believe there's a god, so we act like there is no god. Then, why do some atheists are, especially, like, they hate just the religion, like, not people who represent the religion, but not people who, like, like priests or pastors or whatever, but they just hate the whole book, like, the whole, I, like, anti, an, anti-theism, <laughs> would you say that's uh, atheism? In a way, or like, does atheism yeah, equal I, anti-theism? Like, I hate God instead of <laughs> you know. Look, look. Of, I like, I, I think I think those kinds of atheists are either trolls or they just haven't. I mean, there 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 can be retarded or mentally deficient atheists. They that don't know, that don't know how to argue their position of why they're an atheist. But so. Or, or awesome. go go ahead. So would you agree with someone that's like, you know, they're an atheist, but they're just totally bagging on this religion. You know, they're saying like I, all I mean, these insulting things, and they're not respecting it. Would you like <laughs> help that person not respect it also, or you know what I mean? Like, what if they're just a look, total asshole? <laughs> look, I can't help someone. <laughs> I can't help someone else who is a troll. Even if I agree with their position, look, I I will only criticize the religion with them so far as I respect their freedom of speech to practice it, etc. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm not the type to shove my viewpoint down someone's throat unless they ask for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me about how you feel. I'm going to go present day or currently. Okay. Tell me how about how you feel about the whole notion of the political system and religious views today. Like, in, in context with each other. Relation to each other. I'm sorry. Can, can you repeat the last part? What do you think of the whole scene of of, like, religion Mm -hmm. and basically where we live in america it's mainly christianity but what do you think that relation is to politics and should it be separate or it needs to be separate (laughs) like like yeah so what are your views on like church and state basically church and state need to be separate because that's in our constitution and it's the only it is one of the founding cornerstones of our of our society that allows us to be a well-functioning democracy. Secular democracy. Humanist democracy, I hope. But the, the fact that we have de facto Christianity in, in, our, in, in America, it, it's still difficult. And that's why we need to separate church and state, because... Like, uh, our public educators, our scientists, look, science, or the the truth happens regardless of what viewpoint you, 
you look at it from it, it it's happening like our universe is, is expanding we don't see that but it is that's an objective truth just mm -hmm. just just because you choose to believe in something that says that's not true it doesn't mean it's not happening and that's what religious people are doing in our country they're dumbing down our society and we we have like a trump is an enabler of uh this this fascist uh religious religi religiously conservative movement and what he uh he he placed a gag order on our scientists and government and basically mm -hmm. that <laughs> you're just stifling public uh advancement human advancement because we we need to know this stuff otherwise how are we going to survive <laughs> see so you, the, the, these so, these ignorant religious views are placing us at such a disadvantage in human affairs and such at a fatal situation in terms of our species surviving <laughs> so there so with having said that um do you think there's a way for you know this belief in god or christianity and atheism to coexist like is there a natural way for it to just work together or is it you know, always butting heads. It'll always butt heads because <laughs> the the views are just in, incompatible. Science teaches us or answers how questions. Religion answers why questions. So it, it frustrates it frustrates me a lot when a religious person takes credit for something we found out through science. Saying that, like, oh, we know, we know the uh, universe is, is expanding because we found it. So that must be that must be God's doing, His intelligent design. Well, mm -hmm. that that in itself is a claim that no one can make because that's an extraordinary claim, mm -hmm. and they do not provide extraordinary evidence for that claim. But at least that kind of religious person is flowing with scientific advancement you know it, it's better improving our situation as yeah, a society so you believe in climate change and you're also a religious or not religious person but you believe in something out there right? yeah th 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 that's fine but 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 then again the flip side of that is how can you stop another religious person from from interpreting your religion to say that God created climate change to punish some some gays, some lesbians that had sex. Yeah, I think that's stupid. <laughs> or or because uh, we're, we are wearing uh, multiple fabrics. You're not a good Christian because you're wearing multiple fabrics on your body. I know. But that doesn't mean like this gets back to the question of who's the better follower of the religion. Like, mm -hmm. that's not the standard we should be judging that by. We should be judging it by the standard of what I was saying. Who's the better our, person? Our, our secular, humanist uh, understanding of the world. You're the oh. better Christian because you didn't shoot up that mosque. Because our society teaches you and inevitably forces you to not be intolerant of other religions. So what's so let me think of an example. Like what would you say to someone that says you know I think God for giving this person instead of like let's say in a music standpoint. Mm -hmm. So there's you know, a lot of people label secular music as, you know, punk rock and and the devil's work and all that stuff and death metal and whatever. But what would you say to someone that's like, you know, I thank God for giving them the skills to play the guitar so it can make me 
have all these chemical reactions in my brain and make me feel good and you know what do you think of that whole thing um if you're gonna give your appreciation to god that if that floats your boat then that's fine as long as it doesn't bother me <laughs> <laughs> okay makes sense <laughs> But if we're, if we're going to engage on, like, something much more debatable so, and what... So when would be the... When would it be the, uh... Too much? When would it cross the line? When, when you appreciate God for everything? Because that that's fucking stupid when... Yeah. <laughs> there, there are a lot of, uh good people in the world that are Christians, but uh, they're very oblivious to the fact that uh, God has created so many children in poverty, so many people with diseases, mm -hmm. yet you have like uh, pastors that uh, have these uh, churches, they, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're basically embezzling their community. <laughs> They're they're stealing money from from a uh, vulnerable people, so they're getting rich off of uh, each other because they follow a god. And so, would, would would God allow that? Who's who's the better Christian in that situation? Yeah, see, so uh, that's what I was gonna say. It's like, you know, religion. Religion has no has no place in judging anything in this world anymore. Like I said, it was our first attempt at understanding the world. It needs to be ridiculed for being the, our worst attempt. It has no place in our modern society. It is holding us back. So it's like, I, I understand where you're coming from because it's like, why do they build huge churches and stuff? But like they failed to feed the poor. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so. I mean, we we could argue that that's a uh, that's a, a an effect of religion's bureaucracy, and it certainly is. The bureaucracy of religion has a big part to play in that because when you when you're following orders from higher up, and they're human, there's bound to be mistakes. There's bound to be tragedies. There's yeah, bound to be wrongdoing. Yeah, because humans like naturally make mistakes. We're not perfect, you know. Yeah, and that's that's God's fault if we if we're gonna assume he's he's real. That would be God's fault for creating us so it's as such a miserable, uh, vindictive wrongdoers, and then ordering us to be well, to be good. To be cured of our sin, it doesn't make sense because we we have an incurable disease of being human. So the the standards religion set for someone are something they cannot achieve. So I I don't see why people I don't understand why people would ever subscribe to a religion and try to be what it wants. So I know you went to the uh, the Philippines, right? And yeah, you took this journey to I don't know I forget like the big old cross and everything. How did you feel there? As you know, you I know your family's much more religious than you. <laughs> so, like, does it always does it ever feel awkward for you? Does it and like when you participate in a prayer like what's going through your head like because i know that what's going through my head is that okay, I'm... So... Or, or yeah you can finish i'm sorry so i know i know that like i remember this because i was in the hospital and we were all there and there was a pastor there do you remember that yeah <laughs> and you prayed noel <laughs> I wasn't praying. I was just look in in those situations. I'm following. Uh, I'm just. I'm following uh, the tradition, just to be respectful. 
to right. the to okay. the people that have this have the center of attention in that situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm I'm just doing my best to to be respectful in in how you'd want to receive that respect. So I'm following your tradition, just to be respectful. Okay, so back to the question of like when you visit like a historical site like that or something, how would you? <laughs> Like, I how mean, does it feel there? Like, I mean, j just because Mount Summit is a giant cross doesn't mean it ha it doesn't have any other meaning for me. Like, I see that as a a great architecture, a, a great achievement in architecture, or I see that as a historic site because that's one of the that that site is a place of a, a World War Two battle. Like I've, there's there's other history surrounding that that cross, and I don't I just don't focus on the cross and think like oh, yeah I know a majority of the Philippines is uh, a Filipino people in the Philippines are Catholic, but that doesn't excuse the fact that Filipinos in the South are majority Muslim, or that prior to being invaded by Spain, the Philippines practiced animism. Which is the worship of spirits. Mm. Oh, wow. So again, wh wherever you're born, you're gonna be born into into the religion that's there. Why would why would a uh, a god or many gods create several different religions? Like, uh, according to. Uh, According to Islam, you and I are infidels, and we would be, we would be yeah. killed for that, and we would be torturing in their version of hell. Jews don't have a hell. Hmm. So all these different standards created by humans. It reeks of human. It reeks so, of it. So what are your viewpoints after death? Don't you ever wonder? I think uh, we just cease to exist. We're, we're dead. We, we have no capacity. We're, we, we slipped in just like we... Or we slip out just like, as we slipped in to existence. What physically... So do you believe... That people have souls? No. You don't believe people have souls? No. <laughs> <laughs> what about, like... I believe have, they have, have brains you, and hearts. <laughs> have, you, have you ever had um, any, like, paranormal experiences or anything supernatural like that? No. Even if... Even if I took it as paranormal, I think I would... I would I would think there was some chemical imbalance in my brain that caused mm -hmm. me to witness something that is out of the ordinary of my daily life. So that's very, uh, it's not in a money kind of way, but isn't that like materialism then? In, in what way? Like, because I have these notes that, um, my teacher gave me. What is materialism? Define that for me. <laughs> to look it up. <laughs> it's like... Okay, yeah, so... It's the idea that... Everything is what you see it... As... On the surface. Like, it's... It's... It's something that it's it's a viewpoint where nothing exists except matter and its movements and modifications. Yeah, and we don't even see that in full. Like if you ever take magic mushrooms or LSD, you will you will you will see things <laughs> that you don't normally see. And they're actually happening right in front of you, around you. Have you have you ever seen light rays? <laughs> yeah, take take some drugs, some psychedelic drugs like that, and you'll see more than you normally would that we've adapted to see. Because seeing more than 
what we currently see, it's overwhelming. Our brains would, would, would not take that. So we've adapted through evolution, mind you, to uh, see what we see, hear what we hear, smell what we smell. Mm -hmm. We're in a specific range of what's, uh, what's knowable. Like the visible spectrum. And the objective truth, we're, we're only seeing a fraction of that. A very, very, very small fraction of what is happening. And we don't have the capacity to know because we have limits. We're born to die. Isn't that kind of morbid, though? Don't you think that's so sad? Like, there's not much more after this? Mm, no, I'll be dead. We'll be dead. But that, that means we can make now one fucking great experience, right? Mm hmm. YOLO. <laughs> this is the only time I was, I'll say that, YOLO. You only live once. So make the best of it. So you gave me a lot of, uh... Like, like, I want, the way, the way I found the Earth now, I want to leave it better mm -hmm. for my children and the, and the rest of our species. Well, wouldn't you say that that's like what everyone wants to do? No. Some people want to watch the world burn. Well, that's true, but like religious people, don't they? No, they they there's here's another thing that frustrates me about religious people. They're so focused on death. Well, at, at least those religious people that believe there's a hell or their religion thinks there's a hell. They're so obsessed with death. And they scare you. And they scare you. Exactly. So then they can they can tr control you in this life, the only one you have, as far as we know. Mm -hmm. So you're willingly gonna give up your life for something you're not even sure of, that you cannot possibly even know. You will find much more beauty and wisdom if you take the chance for yourself to find out what's in our world. You'll get much more happiness from that. And that's how I live my life. I take the chance for myself. And I'm happy. I do. Because happiness is not a destination. It's a process. It's a journey. I didn't write that down. Okay, well... Like, like I have more things to say. <laughs> like, if... Like, talking about the Christian version of hell and heaven, if we went to... Uh, if, if we all went to heaven, how does... It, I don't know how it sounds to you, but when I think of my, of my soul, apparently, eternally living with God in heaven, constantly praising Him... That sounds like a hell to me. That sounds like torture. Having to constantly praise and show your love for some for for a being that never uh, gave you respect in this life. That doesn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a that's a horrible. That, that sounds very totalitarianism. Totalitarianistic to me. <laughs> And if, if, if you're going to look at the world's dictators, like Hitler, Stalin, many people think they're, they're atheist. Hitler was a Catholic, mind you. Stalin, no religion, obviously, but what, what sets him apart, he was trying to be his own god in his own country. And if, we, if you look at North Korea, we're, we're one short of a holy trinity. 
the, the, the leaders there are treated like gods. Why do you think rumors like uh, Kim Jong-un doesn't shit or piss? Or fart? Because they, they think he's a literal god on Earth. His father and his grandfather are dead. Once, once this guy drops dead, it'll be a holy trinity. Like, they're trying to be their own gods on Earth. Because they're they're infatuated with their own power, just like just like how I see God Himself. Forget religion, just think of God. It's uh, the the idea of a God. It, it it's a slave relationship. We are placing ourselves under if you if we continue to believe there is a God or gods. So what do you say to the people that like live with? Like, view him as, like, one of those people who are, oh, friends with God. And... Okay. We don't, we don't know how big the universe is, because we've only, we're only able to see a, a very Fraction. small sliver yeah. of it. Yeah. We do not know what's out there. Why the fuck would a god or gods focus on our teeny tiny little speck that's true. And what and certain people individually on this earth. Why doesn't he care about something much more grandiose? Like like a, a dying star. Why doesn't he care about galaxies colliding? He created an environment where we're gonna die sooner or later. He's very intelligent and very loving for that. I hope you notice the sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I, I I don't I don't respect people who hold that view and propagate that because it's not right and it and it's uh, morally and intellectually deficient and absurd. To care about human affairs when there's so much more out there that he created. Or she. Who knows? It. I'll use it. That's a better pronoun. What? I don't know why. <laughs> so... Do you have anything else left to say? I'm going to open it to the stream. <laughs> Let me read these messages. Oh, one more thing. Here's, here's another topic about religion. Because it assumes so much, it is afraid to say, I don't know. I'm comfortable saying I don't know a lot of things. That's true. And I, I don't see know, that. I, I don't know how a religious person... How, how we can look at religious people and think they they know better than us. Isn't it in a way that atheists are have more in common with religious people rather than someone who just... Again, I, I think a lot of atheists study religions and find out that, yeah, it's bullshit. We just, we, we've just arrived at a different conclusion than a religious person. Because we, we, we study the religions. <laughs> Just a different Goodness. conclusion. Because it's the only thing we can study. Our interaction and the, and the books themselves. Because that is something we can look at, touch, think about, reflect. It's not something that we can't test, study, observe. Okay. So here's a question from the stream. Um, what did Yoda do on a Monday? I got a stupid uh, Star Nothing. Wars question he too. just let the Dagobah. <laughs> I don't understand. It's the stupid planet he was hiding on. Oh, here's here's a here's the one on my stream. Why was May's last name Windu? Well. <laughs> Well, he didn't die from getting thrown out of a door. 
Was it by this penis person? Yes. Ooh, what? What a fucking troll. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for that, Noel. I have a lot to uh, write about now. I'm sure there's more questions you're dying to ask me. I'm not sure right now. I can't think. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll come up later, but we'll see if you, you have the... Uh... The time, the energy to stream that. <laughs> oh, um, here's one. What do you think of uh, the idea, like, you know, enough from the Christian perspective and mm-hmm. religion, Catholic, but what about the other ones? Like, their atheism are so against, like, Christian we, and atheism or look, Catholicism. It, 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 that, just, but... it just sounds like a lot of atheists bash, uh, Christianity, mm-hmm. but we, we equally despise the ideas that all religions are and propagate. <laughs> like, the, 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 anti- the, the entire ideas of all the religions, religion itself, is, is stupid to us, so we equally bash every religion every chance we get. Yeah, but be, be, because you're more look, about... Re- religion... <laughs> <laughs> it takes religion to make good people do bad things. <laughs> like a lot of snack bar? Yeah, it, it took religion to make uh, people fly planes into buildings. It took religion to make people start the Inquisition and yeah. massacre people. It took religion to start the Crusades. Okay. It well, took it took religion to do witch hunts. It took religion to do censorship of of free thought. Isn't it? And, like, don't you think of like because there's not so much technology back then, that's why they made up religion to entertain. Yeah, that that's why I said religion is our first attempt to understand our world. That's true. Yeah. Our first attempt, and it is our worst attempt. It is barbaric. Okay, let me write that down. So wait. So religion is our first attempt to understand the world. Like, why why would uh why would the Abrahamic religions, so Judaism, Christianity, Islam, start in the Middle East? The most barbaric, the most ment uh, or, or uneducated. I mean, <laughs> place. <Barbaric. laughs> yeah, barbaric and uneducated place in the world, two thousand years ago. Why not? Why? Why did not? Why did God not reveal His will Himself to the Chinese, who, who knew how to read and write? Why? Why was it the Middle East of all places? Because it's fucking barbaric and uneducated. The people there started a religion to for for social political control. And it spread. Why do you think look, all the major empires in the past have spread alongside religion. It just sucks cuz like everything is like human created we actually don't have anything but we like to believe that there is <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah wishful thinking i don't i don't subscribe to this <laughs> it's but... like it's like like even what Je- let's say even what jesus was preaching it was written down by other people like they yeah could've... 30 years after he died like yeah, who, the, who the fuck's gonna remember all the certain events? Cert- what happened at this yeah, hour? That's true. Ugh, my gosh. I see that too. Like, ah. And like you said, like human error and all that stuff. And I mean, but it's just crazy how something like that can control billions of people. Just like one book. At least, uh, at least in Southeast Asia, where Hinduism and Buddhism, uh got founded and you know like 
a lot of the 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 kings there they didn't force their people to follow the religion of of the king or queen mm -hmm. that's what i learned in my uh, southeast asia class very good class <laughs> <laughs> they didn't force like i wouldn't bash hinduism or uh buddhism as much as i bash the abrahamic religion <laughs> It is so sad. It's a tragedy, a human tragedy. But religion started. Look, there, there's an evolutionary basis for why we we have super. We have a like we we want to believe in something greater than ourselves, or why we see things we don't. Mm -hmm. Like, think think of this scenario. We're in the African savanna. There are trees, and you're standing in the middle of a tall grass field. You know there are there are lions in the area. You're uh, you're near a tree, and behind you you hear the grass move. Is it the wind, or is it a lion? It is better to assume it's a lion because you'll survive. When you run yeah. up the tree, if it's the wind, you either way you're fine. Yeah, you're lucky. You got lucky, but you would still run up the tree. So we assumed we assume things are there without seeing them, without feeling them, etc. Because it's a survival instinct. It helped. It helps us survive. But w religion is that survival instinct out of control. It is actually becoming an anti-survival instinct. <laughs> That's true. It, it is part of our human nature. Allah is <laughs> Nakhbar. Anti-survival. Yes, it is true. Such a shame. But all right. Yeah, that's all I have tonight. I think I'm exhausted now from that. <laughs> I think I got more than two pages that I can, because I'm supposed to write, so I have one page of just what you said, and I'm supposed to write how I feel about it too, so I'll refer back to it after, but good. I think I'm good. Yeah, you are good. You're Thanks, good. Noel. Anytime. I hope you have uh, luck finding someone that's a, a Catholic, or, well, whatever, opposite Christian. So yeah, you're... I think I, next, next time I'm going to interview James, because he's like, He's not, I don't know how to explain what he is. <laughs> he's not, he's not religious or anything. He's not a Christian. He doesn't believe in God, but like, he's very spiritual in a way. Like he, he believes in like Egyptians from 2000 years ago, did it first and people are copying it and like, yeah, different interpretations and. Yeah, I I can support that kind of position because it's uh it's much more open minded than saying there is a god you have to, you must follow this etc. Yeah, being being spiritual, you're 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 just being on the, you're just practicing your your agnosticism with everything around you. Mm -hmm. But if if uh, I would I would I would classify someone who identifies as agnostic to be a closet atheist. <laughs> Closet atheist? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I went through that process of becoming an atheist. First, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm just agnostic. Because my, my, my sister, you know, is like that. And then I was like, you know what? I, I hear, I, I'm learning more about these religions and, uh. They make people do stupid stuff. <laughs> it makes good people do bad things. <laughs> so sad. And it makes people ignorant. But yeah. I live my life. I've seen these, um... I don't know where I saw it from, but, like, there's a stupid cartoon. And, like, there was a hypothetical situation where it's like, what if the world never had religion? And then 
all you see is like it's this time right now current present day but there's like flying cars and you know what i mean yeah do you think that's true like if there was if that was never a thing would we be a lot more advanced in like technology and stuff yeah religion has placed significant barriers in our ability to learn and advance our societies but that doesn't mean we wouldn't have problems similar to it and that's why like if i had the power to eliminate religion i would only go so far as to contain it where it doesn't have power to influence the world like people need I like in saying that I'm respecting people's freedom to practice whatever religion they yeah. want. But we we cannot have religion be in the public sphere where it can, where it has power over others. Yeah. Leave the science to the scientists. What about like I I hear a lot of arguments with like atheists being like very robotic and like they're not sensitive sometimes you know what i mean it's because uh sometimes the the religion they come out of it's done a lot of hurt to them and their Uh, their family etc it's just a personal like like let's think of some things like if you were a jew and you you converted to be an atheist later on in your life I'm sure you'd be pretty, uh, pretty angry that a pastor cut off your foreskin and sucked it off your penis. You'll, you'll never get your for, <laughs> you'll, you'll never forget your foreskin back. They do it. They they do that on the eighth day after you're born. Or do I guess, they still do I, it? Not not the pastor. I mean rabbi. Excuse me, rabbi. <laughs> yeah, th- th- that's a tradition. They still do it. They still do that. If you want that way, you can have Lord. the rabbi. Slice away. Suck it off sometimes. <laughs> Why are we mutilating genitals? <laughs> but has that become a norm for some reason? Like an uncircumcised wiener? Or not not a norm. <laughs> that a, a circumcised wiener has become I think I think norm. I think because uh, of science, we are understanding that circumcision isn't always healthy or necessary. Like if I ever have children, a son, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell the doctor not to snip away because I want my son to have a choice in whether he wants to keep it or not. Because yeah. that's his body. It's not my fault though. I'm res- I didn't have a choice. <laughs> I was robbed, Noel. I know a lot of us were robbed. Okay. That's so sad. <laughs> It hurt. I had to jump in a river. <laughs> oh my god. So what if so what what's your perspective if like if your kid becomes a religious person? But uh that's you know, why that, that's why I think who whoever I partner with, if I ever do, we're not having children if you're gonna <laughs> You're gonna brainwash them into believing some disgusting <laughs> beliefs. Well, a person that you would have to be with would also have to be an atheist. I I would definitely prefer that, but it's not to say that I haven't had feelings for uh, people with different uh, worldviews than I. I like like a girl in a uh, in middle school. She was Catholic. I liked her. But dun, didn't dun she deal. not know? Until high school? <laughs> well, I, I, I just... Well, in high school, I was outspoken about it. I was comfortable enough to come out of the closet. Oh. But ever since, I've been, you know, in the agnostic phase, or just, like, I don't give a shit phase, or, like, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> like, I was, I was busy living my life and not worrying about it until... Someone just had to remind me, like, oh, why don't you, uh, why don't you pray more? Why don't you, uh, believe? Why don't you do this and that? Like, no. I don't want to do no. these, <laughs> I don't want to do these traditions that, uh, I don't see any merits or, uh, benefit from doing. 
Yeah. Dang, well. Sounds like you know more about me. What is going on? I just walked in on this. Yeah, Blue, um... I'm about to end the uh, stream, I think, but, like, do you have any uh, questions for him? <laughs> He'll end the stream, and then we'll start streaming our games. Uh, yeah, I'll probably stream the games, but I want to <laughs> keep this separate for my, uh... Oh, because, um... Because, um... Someone is changing in my room right now. <laughs> so I don't want that to be on camera. <laughs> But what's up, Lou? Do you, do you have any uh, any questions for Noel? Anything you want to say? Any comments? Blue Zero Gold. Religion? Atheism? Anything? Huh? It's it's on the Be Right Back screen. <laughs> it's on the camera for days. It's on the water. Hashtag money. <laughs> Make it rain. The fucking shower is going to get stabbed in their sleep. Maybe I it's the God. it's the <laughs> washing machine. Is it cold as balls? That's the washing machine. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's the washing machine. Pretty sure, the washing machine needs to stop. What? <laughs> he said, "Why are you going?" Oh, he said, "No, I don't because I can just ask myself." <laughs> What? Do you, do you know my stream there? Yeah, if you want to follow, um, hit that follow button. Don't forget, <laughs> and uh, follow Noel too. It's at Noel the Mastermind on Twitch, or it's uh, yeah, Twitch.tv/slash Noel the Mastermind. That's not narcissistic. What? That is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's tremendous. <laughs> That self advertisement. <laughs> Tremendous. No shame. <laughs> Hashtag sell It's gonna out. be huge. <laughs> huge. It's gonna be huge. Huge. I'm gonna build this follower account. It's gonna be huge. And Twitch is gonna pay for it. Twitch is gonna pay. <laughs> or no, excuse me, YouTube's gonna pay for it. Does that have nothing to do with YouTube? <laughs> Yeah, Mexico has nothing to do with our wall. We're going to be paying for it. I know. It, I saw if, if like, an through. article that he's going to charge like $120 per person. Yeah, or or, or, or the import taxes on Mexican goods. It's so stupid. sad. That Why sucks for people. Himself? Because Jeez. it's too much. He's not that rich. See, that, that, that's when you have a, a Christian white nationalist oh, heading your government. $20. Does he want to pay mine? Because I'm not going to pay it. Mm. So sad. Dude, he said, LOL, perfect. <laughs> huge. I'm looking for that huge follow. That huge follow. <laughs> that reminds me, I should have my uh, All right. Twitch alerts open. My... So I think I did a good amount of homework for today. And now it's time to be on the battlefield? <laughs> or just the Counter-Strike? I don't know. Where the fuck's Nick? I'm gonna restart the stream here, Blue. So am I. Uh, I would like this. to uh, keep this separate from my uh, video gaming. So I'll start it up real quick right after this. All right. Be right back. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is going in my vlog as well. Can I get a link? What do you mean? What? Why didn't he say, can I get a link? <laughs> a link? Like a, like a sausage link or a... <laughs> link. He said okay. Alright. Thanks for watching. I'll start the stream again for the games.